Welcome to another week's video. My name is Carol and today I am going to be showing you some nice watercolor related books. I think I'm doing this as a sort of a follow up or a sequence on my latest video where I was showing you some ideas of watercolor gifts uh, for yourself or for loved ones. And I talked a little about paint and paper, brushes, palettes. Uh, I'm going to leave a card up here if you haven't seen this video. And then today I decided to talk a little bit about books. I really like collecting art books about different subjects. I have a few on watercolor focusing on different aspects that I think they are interesting. So I thought it would be a good idea to share. I have some physical books here with me, which I'm going to be showing you. I have also some other books that I bought as an ebook, so I'll share some um, shots here while I talk about the book. And that's it. Um, before I start, I'd like to thank everyone that has been um, watching my videos, commenting, liking, using my links, everything is really, really appreciated uh, to help the channel grow and help me um, bring the com more content uh, to more people. Uh, I really appreciate that. So if you are watching this video and you still aren't following me, please consider doing so. Share this video with other people that like uh, watercolor or art techniques in general as well. And hit the notification button for uh, updates when I'll be posting my next video. I'm usually posting every two weeks and I like it if you like the content and that's it. So let's start. Um, I'm going to start first with this book here called Five Minute Watercolor, Super Quick Techniques for Amazing Paintings. And this is by Samantha Nielsen by Search Press. So you can see here is the contents of the book. It's divided in four chapters. You have chapter one, the usually the basics of uh, every watercolor book where she goes through the materials like paint, paper, brushes, etc. Then you have the techniques. You can see here you have washes, wet on wet, blending, bloom, you know, dry brush, splatter. So there's a lot of different techniques to try. Then um, applying the techniques. So here she's talking about plein air, a little bit about sketch and thumbnails. And then you have some exercises about five minute paintings because that's the title of the book. So you have here five minute rocks, five minute trees, five minute water, landscapes, etc. And then in the fourth chapter, she has some extra ideas about how to take it further. I'm going to show you quickly here um, about the book. So you can see here, I start the part of the techniques. You have about uh, bloom, which is really interesting. You can see here she used the bloom uh, to create this idea of trees, pulling from color. What else? Di dry brush, splatter, tape, masking fluid. There are some lovely examples of um, this type of sketchy artwork. You can see here basic scumbling. Here we have an example as well. So if you are interested in this type of artwork, urban sketching and this kind of um, rough or doodly look, I think this is a good book. It has a lot of ideas and yeah, it's a nice way also to try different things. Um, sometimes you don't know what to paint and get a bit stuck. So here it has a different um, chapters on different subjects like animals and light source. See, five minute monochromatic, 
five minute skies, five minute rocks, five minute trees. floral paintings and here is the section I mentioned to take it further so you have some ideas that you can try if you want to advance so some lovely colorful artwork some really nice ideas here is talking about making mixing chart I really like making mixing charts I'm actually <laughs> in the midst of making one uh, that I'll be sharing with you in a video in the future and yeah I think it's it's a great book uh, it's compact book has short chapters it's not a lot of text and a lot of um, interesting ideas you have here key elements a bit of a resume resumed um, page about uh, the key elements on painting with watercolor so yeah I think this is a great um, book uh, for beginners and inter intermediate artists alike. I find it interesting. I've used it before. And that's, that's it. Um, that's five minute watercolor. The next one, it's a book I already fe featured here in the channel in previous videos. I have a video um, about an art hall I did. Um, at the same time I went to Germany where I bought this book I have also a speed painting I I, I made uh, based on one of the um, tutorials on this book I'm gonna leave a card here for that and yeah there's only one thing in particular about this book is that it's all in German <laughs> but I don't think this would stop anyone from um, taking advantage of the tutorials in here because I also don't speak German I don't understand German and I was able to follow um, with the book without any problems if you any um, at any time have any questions of, of course you can always use Google Translate app on the phone and get a translation of the text but I'll show you here that is pretty much self um, explanatory there's a lot of images on it and yeah so to start with the the title of this book is shiny watercolor it's by elizabeth gotts and it's about paintings using metallic watercolors that's something that i got into this year in particular i got really into buying uh, metallic watercolors um, from different uh, from colero from um small businesses on etsy i just really got into it i have also a video here on the channel where i compare all of the golds and the silvers i have if i remember <laughs> i'm gonna leave a card for that as well and yeah so here you have the book i'm gonna just show it um quickly here because i've like i said i've already showed this book before on the channel but i thought it would be nice to feature it again because it's a book that I haven't seen anything comparable so far in English I haven't seen any book dedicated exclusively to painting with metallics so I think that's a really nice um, idea so you have lots of tutorials over here let me start from the beginning um, so she shows here that uh, she uses mostly the Colero watercolors is a German brand, but it's easily found on Amazon. And here she has about the basics, material, the watercolors, the color wheel. And then she talks a little bit about the metallic colors and brushes, paper. Yeah, the only thing I wouldn't recommend this book is for a complete beginner if you're not a German speaking, um, a German speaker, rather, because, like I said, uh, she has some tips about materials and stuff like that. And if you're a complete beginner, maybe you feel a bit uh, lost, uh, not understanding um, the text. So, if you're already used to 
watercolor paper and brushes and paint I think it's uh, really um, not an issue like I said I'm trying to find here where it starts okay here so here she starts the tutorials this was the painting I did in the previous video as you can see she has uh, the final painting and here what's really good is that she indicates the colors that she used the metallic color so all the colero uh, names and they are in English so if you have them or if you want to buy them it's good to, to have the title here and here she has the colors um, from regular watercolors but you are free to use whatever color you uh, you'd like and here you have the tutorials you see she teaches how to to paint and the order and all of that there's beautiful beautiful artwork look at this one this seahorse sea um, here she only used moon gold and a series of other paints but even though it's not written the other paints you can pretty much um, you know if you want to follow with the same tones you can pretty much try to match them or choose your own so I'm gonna just show you here some of the tutorials she has in the book so she has the fox this butterfly it's beautiful and now so there's quite a few animals there's this feather here there this one uses a lot of different metallics and there's um, some examples as well here very beautiful I like because this gives me ideas of paintings uh, where they're not completely metallic they are mixed so you can have ideas about emphasizing some aspect of the painting using the metallic paints like here for example she painted everything using regular watercolors and then she used the metallics for the line work in some of the paddles so it really gives another look to the painting so um, I find it very inspiring it's not necessarily something that you need to follow uh, exactly as it is here but you can also use as an inspiration for your own artwork um, this one is very beautiful as well you can see here it's um, the plant is painted in metallic watercolors and then you have some details on the butterfly some flowers feathers so yeah it's a really really beautiful book um, I couldn't find on Amazon the last time I checked I found on book depository I'm gonna check it again when I'll be publishing this video and I'm gonna leave a link below to this and all, all the other books I mentioned here and if for any reason I cannot find them, I'm going to leave also in the description below a comment on that. So yeah, I really, really like this book. It's a very unique book. It's a very specific. And if you are into metallic watercolors, I think it's a book that you really enjoy. Now, the next book um, is pretty much well known um, by a lot of people. It's by Anna Victoria Calderon. She is uh, very popular in um, between uh, watercolorists. She has this modern take on watercolor, very vibrant. And she has a uh, good few courses on um, Domestica and uh, Skillshare. So this, I believe, was her first book or at least if I remember it was the first book I got but I think what I had the impression that this was her first book as well and it's a really interesting book with a lot of nice tutorials it's been a while I don't check into it but I think it's really interesting uh, for beginners and uh, intermediate artists alike I think a bit more geared toward beginners this one but has beautiful artwork you can see that the colors she uses are very vibrant because she mixes um, regular uh, pigment watercolors with dye based uh, watercolors that are called liquid the so-called liquid watercolors like um, Ecoline or Dr. PH Martins so yeah, I think that for me, par in particular, this book is worth 
even if, if just to look at and to have some inspiration because she has a really lovely style I like the way she uses the patterns and, and everything she has also a lovely course on Skillshare about patterns that I, I really enjoyed so here you have the contents so you have um, six chapters they are divided in essential supplies basic techniques flowers and foliage butterflies fruit veggies and nuts and lettering so i'm going to show you quickly here she has uh, this sections i mentioned so she's mentioning here about color as well color wheel color schemes then they have the techniques has some exercises as well to try your brushes and things like that there's a lot of uh, very simple exercises like this for the transparency but you can get some pretty nice results with that sometimes simple things um, have really um, impact impactful results uh, in painting so it's good so also to have some ideas here she's talking a bit about scanning using photoshop to clean your paintings then here you have some tutorials with drawings um, i think i've tried this one already with the, the flower with the leaves she has also one about flowers then you have here um, butterflies and other types of insects have ladybugs these are really really liked I think I paint I painted some um, beetles yeah if I find the photo I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna show you later but I think I painted some beetles based on this so yeah it's a it's a really neat book has some beautiful ideas I, I like a lot her style um, it's very bright very colorful I hope you can see well because <laughs> it's already um, afternoon here and we are still getting not a lot of daylight so it's been a challenge for me to film <laughs> I have just gotten some um, extra minutes of my lunch break today so trying to get everything done before the sun sets and yeah this this really nice um, nice book if you like um her style of artwork of watercolor this type of modern take on watercolor i think it's really nice to have ideas to try some tutorials to even to have just to look at her artwork and get inspired by it's called creative watercolor a step by step guide for beginners by anna victoria calderon what else um this one it's a very interesting book as well this is called the art of creative watercolor it's inspiration and techniques for imaginative drawing and painting and it's by daniel donaldson i got this book because i really i i don't know it really resonated with me the style of her paintings i found even though they were very light and subtle i don't know there was something whimsical about it and i i, I really enjoyed looking at it so I got one of her books and here you have the contents it's um, divided between the materials ma sorry the materials organized practice color practice composition art supplies and then she has like um, uh, different uh, letters where she's painting things based on these letters I'm gonna show you so she has a very particular way of working put some extra light to help <laughs> so yeah she has a very particular way of working um, here you can see she suggests taking like uh, covers of old books and creating her own creative book 
um, using scraps of paper and scraps of fabric and you can see here she joined everything with an elastic altered books for color practice so you can see here she did some color tags loose leaf portfolios and then she ha has here some ideas about what to use to create these portfolios to, to create artworks so here is an example of what she was um, saying in the other chapters like b is for blue g is for green I is for indigo and things like that for color practice or for subject practice you have A is for art supplies, D is for Daniel and things like that. So some interesting ideas to spark your creativity. And yeah, here she talks a little bit about inspiration blocks where you create some tiny little um, blocks uh, mixing fabrics and papers and anything that inspires you and you keep them uh, handy to get inspired by, to create um, artwork, to, to have color palettes uh, unusual. So here have an example. I did a few of those and I saved a lot of um, fabric and paper scraps to continue, but I haven't had the occasion to go back to it since. But I think it's a um, really interesting idea to I don't know, to get out of your comfort zone and to do something unusual, maybe. So here she's talking about recipe cards. There's a lot of uh, very unique um, ideas about how to keep your uh, painting practice and how to be creative, basically. I found that it was really unique in this sense. She gives all the instructions and exercises and things like that. Here she's talking about paint ratios, for example. Paint chip exercise. Composition practice. And she has these beautiful spreads. Here's her artwork, you can see. It's very light and very subtle, very delicate way of uh, painting. Um, she uses a lot of pencil and these very, very uh, thin lines. I find it a really beautiful style. So yeah, you have here some beautiful spreads. You see here C is for chairs and couches. So here she drew a spread only of chairs and couches. And she's talking about how to draw the chair, how to be symmetrical and all of that. No, an armchair. Here is for the color green. So you can see here she has a block of uh, green references all put together. And then here you have all green things. It's really a beautiful idea. Sometimes you get a bit overwhelmed with choosing colors and things like that. And I think that's a good occasion to just focus on the practice and not so much on the result. So yeah, it's a really, really beautiful book. I, I believe there's not only a lot of um, great ideas and creative ways to get out of your comfort zone, but it also has beautiful artwork that can inspire you just looking at it. Look at this orange flowers. quotes. Look at this page. Turquoise, one of my favorite colors. So yeah, I find this beautiful. Um, I find this book very beautiful. If you like this type of um, illustration uh, artwork and uh, whimsical artwork, I think that it's a really nice book to have. And it can also help inspire you to have different ideas of what to paint. Now, we come to the last physical book I have here. And I think that most of you already know this book and this artist. She's very, very popular on here on YouTube and on Instagram. 
Her artwork is one uh, I that inspires me a lot. Uh, it's show she's one of my favorite artists. I find her watercolors really, really beautiful. Her name, um, well, I, I'm not gonna venture in saying her full name uh, because she's German and I wouldn't know how to pronounce it, but she's known as Iraville. And this is her book, Cozy Days, The Art of Iraville. I got this book this year, even though it's been published a few years ago. And it's really, really beautiful. It has a lot of her artworks. It has some information as well. Here you have the contents. There's a section talking about her, her workspace, and then she's, um, uh, how do, do I say, she's separated a little bit by subject. So you have people, landscapes, um, animals, buildings, plants, and also some little tutorials about building your own watercolor sketchbook, making your own watercolors, and um, stretching your paper and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a really nice book. If you haven't heard about the review, I really recommend you go look at her artwork on Instagram. She has this very um, recognizable style. She's always using uh, this type of warm tones. And her artwork is really nice. She uses also a lot of um, time. She uses this type of negative technique, which I really love. Yeah. So she, in, in her book, there's a lot of her artwork. And look at this. Also using a bit of negative technique. It's really, really beautiful. She also uses a lot of white space in her paintings, which I find it very refreshing, to be honest. I like to have that white space to look at. So you focus um, more on what she finds it's important to transmit with her artwork. There's some that I really enjoy. I'm trying to find it here. So, uh, here she's teaching you how to bookbind your own sketchbook. Here there's a bit, some whales dogs, birds. There's um, many other uh, videos on YouTube uh, showing this book in detail. So that's, that's why I'm not um, particularly showing everything, but if so, just so you have an idea of what you find in her book and why do I like it. And yeah, it's really, really look here. She has pages of people as well. Also here, uh, using the negative technique. She has a really lovely style. I think that's the one I was trying to find. Maybe really nice. We'll call the white space. So yeah, this is a really, really beautiful book that I think anyone would like to have, even if it's just a coffee table book to look at as an art book. But it also has information about her practice and how to do some of the things that she mentions. I particularly never tried making uh, watercolors and I don't think I'll do anytime soon because it involves a lot of work and materials. So I'd rather just buy from people who take this route. And, but I find it uh, interesting nevertheless to see her processes. And yeah, I think the, the sketchbook also is nice uh, to know uh, how, to, how to make one. It's less complicated and it can be fun as well. So really recommend this book. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the ebooks that I have. As I don't have the physical one here, I'm going to put an image here on screen while I'm editing. Uh, some images of the book, and so you have an idea. So the first book I will share is called No Fail Watercolor The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Painting with Confidence by Mako. She's here on YouTube under the nickname Makochino. 
And I really loved uh, her book because there's a lot of um, different uh, tutorials of painting different stuff. If you have been to her channel already, you'll see that she has this very um, down-to-earth and feasible tutorials about um, different subjects. And her book is exactly that. You have very simple uh, to follow instructions about uh, painting different stuff. Like, for example, I one of the paintings I did based on this book were clouds. I'm going to put a picture here as well of the final result. And that's something I didn't have experience with before. I was never painting clouds or at least not realistic clouds, but I decided to have a try. I, I used uh, some colors that she recommended and followed the instructions and I was really, really surprised at the end with the result. I thought it looked great. <laughs> I don't know if I would have been able to arrive to that same result on my own, um, <laughs> trying with trial and error. So I was really happy with it and I painted another painting as well um, about um, the phases of the moon. I'm gonna put also here an image, um, the same. She had this beautiful tutorials about painting um, the moon or painting planets, basically using um, the wet on wet technique to get these effects and this um, kind of marble effect of the paint on the paper and it just looks magical. So um, some of the things she shows here in this book, she talks about color harmony, about different color palettes like monochromatic, analogous, complementary, triadic. She talks a bit about techniques. So you have um, washes, layering, softing and blending, dry brush, then she has the project. So she has projects about painting things under the sea, about painting things relating to the beach, um, night skies, clouds, like I said, mountains. I got the ebook because, uh, like I mentioned, I had the I had borrowed from the library and liked it so much. I wanted to have it, and I already have a pretty good collection of books here. So sometimes I alternate between getting physical books or getting ebooks so I got her ebook but I think uh, either way it's a really nice book to have it has some very nice tutorials and I will sure be referring to you to this uh, book in the future so I really really recommend it uh, no fail watercolor from Mako the last book I'm going to talk about here I also got it um, in ebook format, so I don't have the physical book here, but I'm gonna be uh, sharing some images uh, while editing, so you can have an idea. It's called Strapped Pairs and Polka Dots, The Art of Being Happy. It's a really nice book, and it is by, just give me a second, Kirsten Sevick. That's the name of the author. So she has this really lovely book. Uh, it's, a, it's a small book. Um, but uh, what I liked about this book, it just has a little bit of text and a, lot, a lovely little collection of artworks. Um, I, I believe it's a square book. And so you have always like a little bit of text on the side. And then you have some artwork. She has a lovely collection of artworks uh, relating to, co uh, it's actually collections. Uh, so you have, um, for example, um, uh, a, a page called Bright Pants Day. So it's a page and you have a lot of different pants. You have another one with rain boots. You have uh, goats or dachshunds, plants and so on and so forth. So it, her uh, artwork is really, really lovely. It's really bright and colorful, a bit similar to, um, in some aspects, similar to Anna Victoria Calderon style. So very bright, colorful and joyful. And I found that this book was a great little book to inspire me when I want to just relax and paint without having the pressure of performance and just 
have fun. It's a really nice book for that. So you have all of these ideas, you know, like I mentioned, um, hedgehogs, streets, autumn leaves, llamas. She has everything. And you see her artwork is really, really beautiful, really cute and colorful. So I'm sure that is a type of book that you can also use to get inspired by. And there was just sometimes, you know, put some music and just paint without giving it too much thought. So these were my book recommendations. I hope that you liked. I hope that you find it useful, whatever your style of painting is. If you did, please give me a like, share the content, uh, comment. I like reading your comments always. If you have other um, suggestions of books that I haven't uh, talked about here, let me know. I love uh, learning about new uh, authors, new artists, new uh, techniques. So yeah, I really hope um, that you have a nice end of the day or the week or the evening whenever you're watching this and I'll be seeing you soon. I still have some things to share before the end of the year. I have been planning some things and also for the next year. But let me know if there's anything you would like to see. And thank you for your support. Bye.